My name is Tikan Lapan. Um, I'm going to present on uh, Dutch Lady as you can see. Um, Dutch Lady is owned by a uh, Friesland company uh, group and it's been a manufacturer of dairy products in Malaysia since the 1950s. Uh, it was previously under Royal Friesland Foods Group. Uh, they, be, they incorporated on 28 May 1963 as a private joint stock limited company called Pacific Milk Industries, Syndrome Berhad. They started with the production of sweetened milk condensed milk in Malaysia and since then they've been expanded to a full range of dairy products locally manufactured in this factory. And as you can see here is their, their vision and mission. And um, their vision is to help Malaysians in moving forward in life with trusted dairy nutrition and to promote trusted dairy nutrition via healthy lifestyle among Malaysians. They pledge to help reduce the sugar consumption of the Malaysian citizens and they've been constantly spreading the message of goodness of milk. Their everyday mission is to create value for our owners in short and long term by means of profitable dairy activities. As you can see here, this is the main branch in uh, Malaysia. Um, the factory was operational in 1963 and been manufacturing milk since then. Uh, it was converted to public company and became the first listed milk company in KLSE in 1968. And in 1995, the company obtained certification under ISO 9001. A few years later, they upgraded their ISO certification to ISO 9001-2000 standard. And um, for their products, they divided their products into two range, which is um, products for children, as you can see here. And these are some of the products for the family. Hello, Mr. Kantapan. I'm Brian. So today I will be presenting on the supply chain flowchart of Dutch Lady Company. So basically, this is the flowchart for Dutch Lady Company. As you can see, the Dutch Lady get their resources from different supplier. The first the milk, they will the fresh milk they will get from supplier one and the other resources they get from supplier two. So basically they send the natural resources from from shipping by shipping. So some of the resources will send to the warehouse for standby uses and some some of the resources is directly sent to the dust ready factory and then after they produce their product they will send to the distributor which is some some of the distributor from dust ready company and some of the product is sent to the warehouses for like a standby then from the distributor, they will send to the retailer, for example, like Jasco, Chapo, and so on. And some of the product will send to grocery, and some of the product will send to the store. So the customer will pick up or purchase the dust ready product from the retailer or from the grocery nearby their houses and the store. Thank you. Hi Mr. Kanapan. So I will present you the scope of strategy fit across their supply chain. So the first suppliers will be the farmers all around the world and the manufacturer for Dutch Lady will be the Priceland Campina company. And the distributor will definitely be the Dutch Lady itself and it will distribute to the retailer which are Tesco, Giant and many more retailer shops in the world. And the customer will definitely be the people around the world so basically everyone will consume Dutch Lady. So the first one, competitive strategy to have a sustainable and efficient production change which means they have to have a product that are produced sustainably which means this that agricultural and dairy farming methods should not only have a minimal impact on the environment but should also be animal friendly and boost public support for dairy farming so the next one will be the product development strategy which 
means produce and market a broad range of reliable natural and nutrition dairy products which Dutch lady will always take care of the nutrition and produce to the consumer so basically they take care of the health of the consumer the third one supply chain strategy renewable energy so basically Dutch lady will be using renewable energy which are wind turbines, solar panels and biogas through the issuing of green energy certificates so it will not damage the environment lastly marketing strategy which are eco-friendly and quality where Dutch lady will always maintain the quality to make sure that consumer have the high, higher customer satisfaction so basically this is the graph for competitive strategy so you can have a look hi everyone i'm zen yi and i will represent backspin to present his like the major drivers due to his overseas so first of all the drivers of supply chain performance at dutch lady milk industry can be divided into four drivers which are facilities, inventories, transportation as well as information with the addition of sourcing and pricing. First of all, drivers 1. Facility Dutch Lady has a role of the actual physical location where products are stored and assembled and fabricated. Dutch Lady manufacture in Malaysia, manufacture and sell a wide range of quality dairy products for the homes and export market. Locally, manufactured in its factory located in Putaling Jaya and a product focused manufacturing. In Drivers 2, Inventory in Dutch Lady Malaysia. Their roles in the supply chains were to improve matching of supply and demand, improve the forecasting, reduce material flow time as well as reduce the cost. Dutch Lady Malaysia inventory management is to maintain responsiveness and flexibility to demand and supply variability, as well as provide an accurate production planning timing to ensure visibility and clarity of data to meet customer forecast and order requirement, balancing demand, inventory and production capacity, as well as acquire approval. In driver trees, transportation, the role in supply chain where is entail moving inventory from point to point in the supply chain and also can take the form of many combinations of modes and roads each with its own characteristic. Dutch Lady products are locally manufactured in its factory located at PJ and therefore Trucks are very relatively quick and very flexible mode of transport. Trucks also can go almost everywhere in Malaysia to deliver goods to every retailer storage. But the cost of this mode is prone to fluctuation though, as the cost of fuel fluctuated and the condition of the road varies. Driver 4. Information they are served as the connection between various stages of supply chain, allowing them to coordinate and maximize total profitability. It is also crucial to the daily operation of each stage in the supply chain, for instance, production scheduling system. And information is used based on the first one is coordinating daily activities related to the functioning of other drivers. Second, forecasting and planning and to anticipation and meet future demand. Third, enabling technology. And driver five, sourcing. Dutch Lady Dairy Raw Milks are sourced from the FCDF group, which is the price land for Verco Dairy Food Holding. And the sourcing is the set of business process required to purchase goods and service. Managers must first decide which tasks will be outsourced and those that will be performed within the firm, either in-house or outsourced, as well as supplier selection. In driver 6, is a pricing. 
determines how much of the firm will charge for goods and services that it makes available in the supply chain. It also will affect the behavior of the buyers of the product as well as the performance. In today, Dutch Lady in Malaysia has ranked as the leading dairy producer in Malaysia. The directly affect the supply chain in terms of the level responsiveness required as well as the demand profile that the supply chain attempt to serve. The pricing is also a level that can be used to match the supply and demand. So what are the obstacles to achieve strategy fit? It increases the demand customer, increases the varieties of product, but decreases the product life cycle. There is a fragmentation of supply chain ownership as well as globalization. Thank you. Hi sir, today I would like to present the distribution network design. So, retail the storage with the customer pickup. What uh, the touch ready manufacturer? There's only have uh, one manufacturer at the which is located in the Petaling Jaya. So, they distribute the their product to the hypermarket. The retail, retail storage, which the hypermarket, supermarket, convenience store, and school canteen, then they will sell to the then after that they will sell sell as sell to the customer. So inventory inventory is stored lo locally at the retail store. Customer and the customer walk in into the retail store and pick it up from there. So the product process took lesser time that they delivery the dairy fresh product to the retailer due to the expired date and the milk from the farm has been has been cooled down and partially processed. So distribute the inventory to the retailer by truck. So manufacturer distribute to the retailer story which means the uh, hypermarket such as the Tesco, Jesco and and more. And the convenience store uh, they are seven eleven ninety nine speed mark. Their target market is customer who can age range from the baby to elderly. And the school canteen is target for the student. The milk production processes until to the packaging process only took one day to finish the production. They the aspired product will be taken back to deal with it can be for baking good or making the sour milk. Okay, so hi Mr. Kandapan. So basically today I'm going to talk about how can supply and demand be managed to improve synchronization in the supply chain phase of predictable variability. So for the first thing I'm going to talk about uh, managing the supply. So first of all, in managing supply, there is, can be divided into two categories that is managing the capacity and also managing the inventory. So for managing the capacity is basically about the time flex flexibility from workforce, designing product flexibility into production process, uh, use of subcontracting, uh, and for the managing inventory is uh, use common components across multiple products and also build inventory of high demand. So, for the managing the demand part, it is basically uh, more on the, you can control by the pricing, uh, promotion, and also the price changing and the time of promotion, and the short term of uh, price, di uh, price discount. So, um, what is what is actually the uh, meaning of uh, I just want to explain the predict predictable variability is it is actually a change in demand that can be forecasted and it also can cause increased cost increased cost and decreased responsiveness in the supply chain. Thank you. Hi, sir. I'm Benjamin Lim Cheng Bin. Uh, my part of this presentation are the best option for transportation network. And the best option that I chose for uh, the Dutch Lady company was milk runs from the distribution channel, which is uh, they have only one manufacturer in the distribution channel and a lot of suppliers like a uh, factory and the milk farm and to the retailer as well. 
like uh, Giant and other hypermarkets, 7-Eleven as well. And for the process of transportation network, firstly, the milk that collected from the farm then sent to the collector center and cooling process take place and this uh, has taken a partly of processes that the milk have done and then this supplier and then sent to the distribution channel the chill milk then sent to a Dutch lady company the manufacturing company uh, which was located in a PJ to run on tests and processing like pasteurized homogenized milk and also add in some uh, nutrition facts and then packaging it and it shots the product accordingly to the orders and to the related field of truck to distribute to the product to the retailer and the retailers include like Giant, Tesco, all the hypermarkets and so like convenience stores, 7-Eleven, Mangai, Speedmart and also school as well like canteens the final pack product then transport to the place the retailers that I mentioned just now and sell to the uh, customer or consumer then the transporter then retrieve back the expired product back to the company and I would like to move to the reason the mode of transportation which is truck, truck uh, is more efficient and small amount of shipping product compared to other modes and could pinpointing on the location and it is easier to reach to the retailer as well each truck can deliver to accordingly location in time the company located in PJ Kuala Lumpur which is a strategic place to distribute the product throughout the country whereas it located in the center of Malaysia the advantages and the disadvantages that I compare first I will talk about the advantages is lower outbound transportation and has lower cost by eliminating the needs for direct small shipments and the disadvantage higher coordination complexity in this case it can be minimized by design, deciding and planning on the routing of each milk run and that's all for my part thank you good afternoon everyone and today i will present to you social and environmental initiatives so what actually are the social initiatives in dutch lady malaysia first drink more do more two a day campaign this campaign is aimed to encourage and increase intakes of daily milk for the customers as well as carry out to spread the goodness of milk and studies have recommended a consumption of at least two servings of milk a day. Besides, they also have a partner in the government school milk program, which for the kids. This PS1M program Susu One Malaysia is an important platform for the company to help spread the goodness and benefit of milk to school children, which ultimately reinforce our strength as an expert in dairy nutrient. It's also organized a CNUT conference. In 2012, the Nutrition Society of Malaysia, NSM, and University Kebangsaan Malaysia, UKM, hosted a regional Southeast Asian nutrition study, known as CNUT conference, in Kuala Lumpur in conjunction. A multi-center study that was simultaneously carried out among 16,744 children to identify the nutritional habits and gaps in knowledge among these children. However, in the environmental initiative, they try to bring up a focused quality system which support the company in the development of an increasingly robust production process. This also ensure that their product and the way in which it is produced meets their high standard on food safety, quality, labor safety, and environment. In Dutch Lady, their safety is their number one priority, which committed in ensuring a safe environment for their employees, contractors, as well as visitors. The SHE department say that to create awareness on the responsibility of keeping safe among our employees when working within our vicinity of the workplace. Move on, they also try to save the energy, water and waste management by re reduction in use of electricity, use of natural gas 
in the manufacturing operation, a systematic procedure for the disposal of market return product, use packaging material and schedule waste, as well as reducing the energy waste at all levels of operation process. Besides, Dutch Lady also organized a green campaign, which to encourage employees to think blue and act green, like such as recycling bin were placed in a strategic part of the office and production plant and a green pledge ceremony was officiated during the company's leadership. And thank you.